Okay. I'm very well, thank you. Good to have you here. Pleasure is all mine. Okay. Um, so we have heard so much about you, about your passion, about what you do, about how much you love the youth, and you have inspired so many people. But right now, I just want you to tell me a little bit more about you, about what you do, your passion, your, you know, your love for the youth, and you yourself. Okay. Um, too many things in that question, so we'll have to break it down. Um, well, what do I do? Well, some people call it motivational speaking, even though I think that's wrong. You know, some people call it inspirational speaking, even though I think that's wrong too, because any kind of speaking can be inspirational. You're just saying something about what has happened to you in your life that motivates others can be viewed to be inspiration. But it's more of having that deep zeal to help people grow, you know, to help the youth thrive in a time when things are difficult. You know, in a time when we live in that era where people are not really thinking about the long-term future, a lot of things are wrong. There are no jobs. Universities are loading the youth every year into an already saturated job market. People get by by not facing the truth. People get by by avoiding reality. And I'm trying to bring reality to people and then bring a solution to the harsh reality. So I look at myself more as a speaker, yes, motivational, yes, inspiration, yes, life skills, yes, but more of trying to enable the youth to facilitate their entrepreneurial desires, you know, because a lot has been said about entrepreneurship education, a lot has been said about um, what people can do to surmount this problem, but nothing has really been said about how people can do what people should do. So I bring the how. Okay. So let's just say I'm that guy who brings the how. Yes. That's a wonderful introduction. I think it has made me more interested in hearing everything else you have to say during this interview. So, yes. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Hello. Hello You're rather sir. quiet. Okay. Okay. Um, I would like to know a bit about your educational um, journey so far because I personally was looking through. I think it's quite an interesting journey you have there. So I would like you to just tell people a bit about your educational background. Okay, um, okay. Um, well, I have a first degree from Cardiff University. I studied law, okay, and um, I did a master's in international and commercial financial law as well from King's College London. And then I'm currently doing a doctorate degree, a full time doctorate degree in uh, business administration, which is different from a PhD, by the way, but we'll get into that. It's a DBA, so a doctorate in business administration. Um, I'm doing that with the University of Liverpool. It's about a, roughly a four-year program. I think I'm halfway now, so hopefully, fingers crossed, if I don't fail anything along the way, I have about two years to go. So that's really it. I was called to the Nigerian Bar in 2009, so I'm a lawyer as well. The law is my first love. And it continues to be something that I still practice, but like I say, this is more of a passionate, emotional side of me, what I try to do for society, what I try to do to encourage people just like myself to be the best they can be. So that's that. Okay, that's great. So we heard about this um, session that's coming up. It's um, fostering youth joint venture entrepreneurship. Well, fostering youth entrepreneurship. Youth entrepreneurship. Yes. yes, okay. So um, I'm a bit confused as to what we stand to gain if we attend. So can you just tell us a bit more about it? Like, tell us robustly about it. I think the question is what do you stand to lose if you don't attend? Okay. I think I'd like to rephrase that question if you allow me. Because the first things first, I want to attack this from the root. A lot of people see all these sorts of sessions as okay, what are, what are we going to learn? We've heard this before, a lot of people do these things. But I want to say that this is very different. This is very different because it's a research based session. In other words, we're talking about created content. We're talking about unique content. We're talking about content that is dear and peculiar to me. And what do I mean by that content? I just mean youth joint venture entrepreneurship. This is a business model. A business model that I have come up with. I'm currently doing research in it. it in fact, it, forms, it will form a major part of my doctoral thesis. So the whole idea of this model is to give young people, like I said before, the how in surmounting obstacles people face in studying their business, in entrepreneurship. 
Because a lot of people have the education, they have the zeal, they have the passion, they've identified their niche. But where is the money? This is the point. How do they start? How do they rent that place, even in the most modest environment and locality? How do they do those key things? How do they even pay for the monthly internet to send that all-important email? That is the how. That is what this model seeks to answer. You join venture entrepreneurship. I don't know if I want to talk about the model now, because if I'm talking about it now, then why would people attend the session? So the whole idea is the model will give youths a practical solution to problems they face in actually getting started with entrepreneurship, where they have the education, where they have the passion. So it's going to be surmounting the practical hurdles. That's all I'm going to say for now, by the way. <laughs> all right. But it's a great session to attend. I mean, it's a giveaway price of 10,000 naira, which is next to nothing. Yes. If you imagine there are going to be workbooks as well, and stories that go with all the principles that are going to be elucidated. And then if you imagine that they're getting all this for just, you know, 10K, I mean, investing 10,000 in your future is really nothing. I mean, I have you know, invested <laughs> a lot in my future, so I would, you know, make no apologies for telling people to invest in their own future. So yeah. it's something people should attend must attend, by the way. Places are limited anyway, so 